we love it when ChatGPT gets things wrong. So this is a post I've just seen over on Reddit where somebody is asking ChatGPT, can you think of a five letter word that ends with L-U-P? Seems like a nice simple word problem, right? But ChatGPT cannot do it. Notice here that ChatGPT's first response is a five letter word that ends with L-U-P is croup. Now, obviously this is wrong as the user points out, there's no L in croup. From here, ChatGPT just continues to compound its problems and suggests the word pull up. And then the problems continue and continue to cascade with ChatGPT getting more and more tied up and the user getting more and more annoyed and telling ChatGPT what is getting wrong. And eventually it all collapses and it ends with the user saying, just say there aren't any words, stop lying to me, stop making things up. And ChatGPT goes ahead and it apologizes. People love to use these kind of examples to show the limitations of ChatGPT and the fact that AI is never actually going to take over um, lots of our jobs. This is COPE. The first giveaway is here, they're using 3.5, which is an old out of date model. At least use four if you're gonna try and make this point. But the real reason is that this is a mathematics problem. It doesn't sound like it, it looks a lot like a word problem, but what we basically have are five places, like mathematical places, for these letters. And ChatGPT is not able to deal with these kind of places uh, because that is a math problem rather than a word problem. Basically what this is, is saying there are five placeholders. Each of these can be one of 26 different letters. Go through the permutations and the combinations in order to find out what words it could be. This is a mathematics problem sitting underneath a language problem. There is one actual problem here though, which is useful for users of ChatGPT and other AIs to know, and it's here. So uh, ChatGPT will always tend to be agreeable. It's always going to want to um, please us with its answers. Even when it does not know the actual answer, it will try to fill in the gaps and give us what we think is a simulacrum, um, a verisimilitude of a real answer. This leads to problems with accuracy because we don't want something that sounds right. We want something that is right. That's why I recommend using models like perplexity um, for certain tasks because perplexity will not lie to you, whereas ChatGPT will fill in the blanks because it wants to make you happy with its answers. There is a big learning takeaway here, which is that AIs are agreeable, they want to please us, and therefore we cannot trust all that they say. We need to either tell them at the beginning, using a prompt, that they should not give us false information, even that's not foolproof though, so you always need to check using your human brain. You cannot rely on ChatGPT yet to do all the work for you, but you need to use it to augment your own thinking.